15 days ago, Chandrayaan-3 etched India's name in history as a space-faring superpower. Now comes another moment of reckoning. Will the sun rise for Chandrayaan-3 on the moon? After a successful landing near the uncharted lunar south pole, Vikram Landon and Pragyan Rova conducted some in-depth experiments. Then they were put on sleep mode as the sun set on the moon. There was no sunlight to charge their solar panels. But now, with the dawn of the sunlight over Shiv Shakti Point, a name given by PM Modi for the region near the moon's south pole, where Chandrayaan-3 successfully landed on August 23rd, the Lantern and Rover are now expected to recharge and begin their work again. As the sun rises over the south pole of the moon, ISRO will attempt to revive Vikram Landon and Pragyan Rover. Never before has India achieved such a scientific feat in space. If successful, this will be a new milestone for ISRO and extend the life of the Chandrayaan-3 mission. ISRO chairman S. Somnath is keeping his fingers crossed, saying, We can only hope to see the equipment back to the life on 22nd September. As the lunar day dawns and bathes the landing site in precious sunlight, a team from ISRO's telemetry tracking and command network will begin sending commands to awaken the slumbering instruments abroad the lunar lander. If these machines respond after a rejuvenating sip of solar energy, India's lunar quest will get a life extension, allowing ISRO scientists to harvest more lunar samples. But this isn't a stroll in the cosmic park. Nights on the lunar surface are chilling with temperatures plummeting to minus 200 degrees Celsius. And if ventured closer to the lunar poles, the temperature readings can go even colder to around a frosty minus 250 degrees Celsius. Longer duration missions are equipped with radioisotope heating units. Are such devices that guard the spacecraft, preserving the perfect temperature required for instruments to work even in the unforgiving cold of space. But they are costly and occupy more space, hence the Chandrayaan-3 doesn't have RHUs. Instead, ISRO is relying on solar panels to recharge Chandrayaan-3 with sunlight. ISRO is on a quest to create RHUs for long interplanetary missions in the future. With these on board, the equipment can endure the harshest frozen conditions across the cosmos and will enable India to conduct more complex landings and exploratory missions on celestial bodies like the Moon, Mars and beyond.